Among the thousands of cures that have been attributed to the miraculous spring in Lourdes, France, 70 of those cures have passed rigorous scientific scrutiny and are recognized by the church and the medical community. The story behind these miracles began when the Blessed Virgin Mary and a poor young girl. Howdy, and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca, and I hope you all are enjoying these videos that I've been making. And then if you are, be sure to share them with family and friends. It'll really help me out a lot, plus spreading videos about Our Lady to more people is always a good thing. Now, on to our story. On February 11th, 1858, in the Pyrenean village of Lourdes, France, a beautiful young lady appeared to a poor 14-year-old girl named Bernadette Subaru. Bernadette and her sister were searching for firewood near the grotto of Massabella. Bernadette was often ill, so when her sister removed her stocking in order to wade across the river, Bernadette remained where she was. Soon, a strange silence filled the air. She turned her head toward the grotto and saw in the opening of the rock a young and beautiful lady. The lady had a rosary draped over her arm. Removing her own rosary from her pocket, Bernadette knelt down and began to pray. This was the first of 18 apparitions of the Blessed Mother to the young girl. During the 16th apparition on March 25th, Our Lady identified herself as the Immaculate Conception. So Bernadette ran to her pastor's house, repeating to herself over and over again the strange name that the lady had given her, so as not to forget it. At the time, the Immaculate Conception was not a well-known term because just four years earlier, Blessed Pius IX had proclaimed the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. The notion of the Immaculate Conception was absolutely unknown to the young and illiterate Bernadette. The name that the lady had given her was, to her dumbfounded pastor, more confirmation than he had ever expected. Complying with Our Lady's request, there is now a church at the grotto. Our Lady asked that people come and persevere in procession with prayer and personal conversion. During the ninth apparition, Our Lady asked Bernadette to kneel and wash in the spring. Confused because there was no spring near Massabella, she began to scratch the loose gravel off the ground inside the grotto. As she did, a small pool formed, and she cupped her hands together and drank and washed her face. The next day, the pool was overflowing with water and was dripping down over the rock. Countless cures are attributed to this spring, and the shrine is considered the most visited place of pilgrimage and healing in the world, both physical and spiritual healing. And this just makes me think about how many people could experience conversion through Our Lady if only they encounter her message. And that's exactly why I do what I do on this channel. If you feel even a little like I do about her, I absolutely recommend checking out the Child of Mary devotional group. It's filled with like-minded people like you who want to spread devotion to Our Lady as far and wide as we can. If you're curious, click the link in the description down below and go ahead and click the pop-up on your screen right here. Okay, back to the story. The Sanctuary at Lourdes. The Lourdes Sanctuary website says that one of these pilgrims, Catherine Latape, experienced the very first recognized scientific and church-approved miracle at Lourdes. And here is her story. Catherine lived very close to Lourdes, only a few miles away. One day in October of 1856, she fell from a tree and damaged her right hand so critically that she suffered complete paralysis in two of her fingers. In February of 1858, Catherine woke up in the middle of the night with a feeling that she was being called to go to the grotto of Lourdes to heal her hand. Now, this was at the time of the apparitions were still happening to Bernadette. So the next month, Catherine traveled to Lourdes with her children. At dawn, she met Bernadette right before the twelfth apparition, and then went to, to the grotto to pray. Then she washed her hands in the spring's water, and in an instant, her hand was healed, and the paralysis of her fingers was gone. Nearly four years later, Catherine Latape's healing was officially recognized as a miracle. There are so many more stories I could tell you about these miraculous waters and the cures at Lourdes, but I'm running out of time for today. I just want to leave you with one thought. While Lourdes is associated with physical healing, St. Bernadette herself underwent a lot of suffering and illness in her life. 
she teaches us that suffering is beautiful and can actually help us to get to heaven. In her words, we must suffer because pure love cannot exist without suffering. And that's all for you today. Thank you for watching, everyone. And may God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.